If you're a longtime viewer of this channel, then you might remember about two and a half years ago, I did a video where I upgraded my Xfinity router. You don't remember that? Really? Come on. But here's the thing, since that time, I haven't touched it. I haven't had to. My Xfinity service just works. And this is one of those reasons why, no matter what you say in the comments, because I know you're about to, don't do it. I've always been an Xfinity fan because my service just works. But I'm here at the Xfinity suite here at CES 2020, and they're gonna be walking me through some new stuff that I really ought to be taking a look at, apparently, as far as upgrading my equipment and my services. So let's get into that right now. So today I'm here at the Xfinity Suite at CES 2020 and I've got Patty and Kunle with me and they are going to sell the crap out of the new XFi system and try to convince me to upgrade. So tell me what we're here to look at today. Third generation advanced wireless gateway is literally the, the latest and greatest of our products. It provides best in class Wi-Fi, featuring Wi-Fi 6 technology. Explain what Wi-Fi 6 actually means. Sounds fancy. Increased speeds increase throughput and reduce lag. So for gamers, that's an important thing. The other benefit that most people don't even know about is it can save your battery life 25 to 30% on your devices. So, and then I'm gonna move over to this device as well because I think I get what this is just by looking at it. I have a home with an outbuilding. That's where I do a lot of my studio work is outside and I need coverage. And so I ended up using Google Wi-Fi. Is that what this would do for me? Just keeping it within the Xfinity family? The uh, X5 pods? So as Patty alluded to earlier, we're really concerned about coverage, speed, and the user experience. And so the X5 pods allow that and really extend the network for the customers. All right, continuing on the quest to sell me X5, which is going all right so far, uh, now we need to talk about security. You're saying that X5 does something to secure not just your, my Xfinity devices, but everything in the home, is that right? Yeah, we say if it's anything's connected, it's protected. So it basically provides a simple dashboard. You can see all of the activities um, that happened that day. So if there are any threats to your devices, uh, you can see those threats. And we have both active and passive notifications. So you'll receive a notification, which you can see here, that in this case, there was a printer that we blocked a threat. And in some cases, we require you to try and help fix that. And we'll walk you through different tip cards to do that. As you can see here, this is the dashboard. Uh, and then if you don't necessarily need to take action either, we will block that threat for you. So if there is someone trying to remotely access your device that's connected, we'll block that. A printer. Okay, so it's a Wi-Fi printer, it's connected to the, to the network, but how does that even work? How is somebody accessing my network through the printer? I don't get it. So any device that's connected to your home network behaves in a certain way. It communicates to certain IP addresses, and when we detect uh, suspicious or abnormal activity, we'll block that. So in case of if you've got an open port that someone's trying to remotely access, we'll block that. Okay, so my internet's better now, my security is better now, but it's still the case that, as you may know, I cut the cord. A lot of us cut the cord, right? We got rid of cable TV, and that was my Xfinity TV. But Xfinity is doing something now that's a little bit different for cord cutters like me. They've introduced the Flex platform. It's a device and a platform, and we're gonna talk about that with Matt. So, you know, we've been making customers' lives more simple in the entertainment space for a long time with X1. And what we realized was, particularly in the streaming space, it's getting harder and harder to say, what do I want to watch and where am I supposed to watch that? And so that's the whole goal of Flex, is to take a lot of the investment that we've made in X1 in terms of having a great integrated content experience, making discovery incredibly easy, having a personalized experience, and also the, the power of the voice remote that we have to make entertainment easy for our customers. And that's what Flex is. So even if you don't take a video subscription from us, if you don't get all the benefits of X1, you can get all that with Flex. So how does this all work uh, any differently than what I'd be used to with other devices or other services? Yeah, we know one of the biggest things is show me what's free to me. We've got free to me with um, a whole bunch of things. The nice thing is with the apps we have on the platform, we have thousands of TV shows and movies that are free right off the bat from things like YouTube, Tubi TV, Zumo, Pluto. So we've got a lot of content right off before you even subscribe to Netflix or anything else. But then as you subscribe to Netflix, we weave all of that information into this experience as well. Are there any major services missing from that? Will it integrate? 
Hulu and uh, Amazon TV. I think I saw Amazon earlier, but anything yeah. missing from that? Yeah, I mean, we're constantly expanding that content catalog. So uh, we have Netflix today, we have YouTube, we have Amazon Prime Video. We've announced that we're going to launch uh, Hulu early this year. So we're working on bringing in Hulu. And of course, we um, are excited about adding other ones as they come available like Peacock. And so we also talked about live TV and that, that is still important to the streaming segment. We also have a guide. So we've created a grid here, which is all of our streaming services that you can get. So you can subscribe to HBO through the box. I mentioned a number of the other ones, and we're gonna to continue to expand this out as we go. Um, another thing we found uh, about um, streamers is um, they tend to not leave live TV on, the ba in, on in the background. If they're doing other things around the house, they, they won't do that, but they do listen to a lot of music. And so we've created these experiences we call ambient moods. We know that um, you still wanna be entertained even while you're doing things like chores. So this is our doing chores ambient mood where we've got some really rich cover art up here. We've got playlists selected from My Heart Radio. And so you can constantly be entertained in the background while you're doing other things. We really want to give you the ability to use this when you're kind of sitting there fully engaged with the with Flex and also when you're just doing other things to have it on in the background. Is there anything else that kind of people might be surprised by. Parks and Rec. So I'm using our voice remote now to get directly to this page. I don't have to think about what streaming service Parks and Rec is on. I can simply go to this Parks and Rec page. This particular one is only available on Netflix, so it's gonna tell me, hey, you can watch that on Netflix because we know you're subscribed to it. But generally, we're just trying to take a lot of that complexity out of it. So that's one big thing. The voice remote, as I mentioned, is another one. We have um, you know, an Emmy award-winning voice remote experience. It's best in class. It is the best voice remote for entertainment. Anything you say, you can, you can get to very easily on here. And the last thing that I think is very unique to us is the integration with the rest of the home. Like we talked before about XFi um, and having maybe cameras and other IoT devices inside your house. We have a Today tab, which is really focused on um, managing your digital life in your digital home, including things like managing your home network from here. If you had cameras, you could view your cameras from this experience. Really trying to take and, and include the whole Xfinity ecosystem that you have in your house into the Flex experience on the big screen. So there you have it, the X5 platform. Sounds like it's a pretty good deal to me. Like I was saying earlier, the more you integrate with it, the more devices, the more services you get in there, the more convenient, the more interesting it's gonna be to you. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. Is that something that is tempting to you? Uh, let us know what you think of your current or future Xfinity service if they've sold you on it here today. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.